Now let's discuss a little bit about when we're supposed to be using this application. If you have a brand new injury, research is now showing that you probably should not tape it up right away. You probably should not ice it right away either. We're now thinking that we need to, since it's such a distal region and it has very little blood flow to it, that we need to leave it alone and let all those healing factors, all the little cells that are supposed to do the job of healing it, we need to allow those to get into place. So the first couple hours, I would not do anything to it. It might hurt, it might throb, just leave it alone. Um, if you want to apply very gentle kinesio tape just to control the amount of swelling that is occurring in that joint, that's a great idea, but we definitely don't want to put too much ice on it or we definitely don't want to compress it aggressively because this is doing the opposite of what we're trying to get done, which is we're trying to supply it with the nutrients to heal and then we're, we're trying to protect it and assist it while it heals. So now I've had this tape on for a period of time. Let's look and see how my body's responding. Looking at that finger, it's a different color than all the rest of my fingers, isn't it? That means that I've either taped it too tightly or there's just not enough motion to help the fluid at the tip of my finger circulate up past this tape job. So one of two things can be done. If you are climbing on it and you're moving it aggressively or using it, re-evaluate it because afterwards it might look totally fine just like the other fingers. Or if you're just sitting around or you're at work and you're not really moving the tip of your finger, this is too tight of an application. So we will loosen it up and then we can reuse that same tape, but lighter. And it could very well be that it is perfect. Or it could be that we need to work with it. Every body is a little bit different and some bodies um, have better blood flow than others. So some people have colder hands, they have less blood flow to the tips of their fingers, other people have very warm hands. We can do quite a bit of compression on this and not have to worry about you losing your blood flow. But definitely keep an eye on it. If that finger is turning blue or it is starting to go numb or tingly, definitely your tape is too tight and pull it off. So that is a tape job for the A4 um, pulley. The A3 pulley is right in the center of your joint, and a tape job for that, let's cut some more tape, would look identical, however, it would be in a different location. And this is the exact same tape job for a capsular sprain. If we have injured the joint itself by twisting or rotating, it's the same tape job as an A3 pulley. So as I stated before, the goal of this tape job is not to um, do the job of the pulley, it's just to support it and assist with swelling and inflammation control. So for my A3 pulley, I have taped through the center of the joint and that joint is now more flexible, um, supported through ranges of motion. However, we also want to make sure that that finger does not turn the wrong color. Our goal is not to inhibit motion. Um, this tape job is primarily a stability tape job. It decompresses the tissue underneath it. And the biggest thing we found with research with having kinesio tape on the skin is that our brain is much more quiet. So instead of our brain telling the muscles in that area to spasm and telling the muscles of our forearm to be tight to protect the finger, instead the brain doesn't have to do that. So we have much less symptoms and our injury heals faster with less reflexive spasms. Kind of cool.